Hello, cycle cart uh, fans and builders, I guess. Um, I promised that I would do a video explaining my new drive system. And now seems like a good time to do it since the cycle cart is on the bench, on the big stand, and no wheels on it at the moment. But I just did put together the drive system and the chains and I tightened it all up. So I thought today would be a good day to do a, a video. I won't be running the motor, but I'll be hand testing it. It seems to work pretty well. So here's how it works. I basically have, what I have here is a cycle cart with a rear suspension. And the rear suspension consists of these, these swing arms. I haven't cut that off yet. Um, that's going to be a fair bit shorter. That's why this can't really move up and down right now, but it will. So here's my rear axle and these swing arms allow the rear axle to move up and down. You can almost see it a little better from this side. The rear axle goes up and down like that. <clears throat> Over here, I haven't attached it yet, but this transverse spring <clears throat> will sit there like that. And when the rear axle moves up, spring will flex and so on and so forth. So I've already tested the spring, that works fine. And the only problem I had was that I used to have a belt drive system on this thing and that skipped a lot because it was using a timing belt and I thought for sure that would work, but it didn't. So I came up with this thing, which is a shaft drive. So essentially what happens here is my motor is mounted is fixed to the to the body on the it's fixed to the frame by these aluminum extrusions and the motor here runs this first sprocket so you can see that when the motor turns the sprocket turns and then this drive shaft which I bought at Princess Auto which for you Americans I guess is the kind of equivalent we have to Harbor Freight. That drive shaft sends the uh, rotational motion to this sprocket, which is attached by this bracket to the rear suspension. So this is not attached to the body anymore. This is attached to the rear suspension now. And therefore this thing moves and the shaft drives and it drives another chain, which drives the rear axle. And it allows for the rear axle to move up and down. And it's this portion here that's actually splined. So it slides in and out. And I was thinking, I was pondering doing kind of a, a homemade version of this thing. And I didn't think that the that this motion would be very significant. I thought I could I thought that I could um, disregard it, but it turns out I can't because look what happens when I move the here I'm moving the uh, rear suspension up and down with my hand. Look how much that moves. That uh, that needs that spline. So that's how my thing works. And I guess I'll do it from this angle too. If we turn the motor. There we go. Now, of course, I haven't run this in a actual road test yet, but I will. And hopefully it'll work. What I have left to do is to put braces on my backrest here. I'm going to support the backrest with a, uh, with a piece of aluminum that goes from there to the uh, torque converter. Basically to keep the backrest from doing this, from flexing. You can see when I push on it, it loosens the chain, it moves quite a bit. So I have to keep it from flexing by doing that. <clears throat> and I'm pondering also going from here on the motor to over here on the backrest with another flat piece. And I also thought I might go from this 
motor support <clears throat> out to the backrest just underneath the axle just like that but I don't know I'm gonna have to see how things fit uh, apart from that I have that and I have the gas tank to fit and the gas tank will sit somewhere up here in the old uh, in the old drive system design that's where it was so I'm gonna try and put it somewhere around there I have a plastic gas tank that I have to mount to the <coughs> excuse me to the backrest so there it is that is my new drive system for the vulture my cycle cart all right hopefully the next video will be me driving it down my road and watching it work and hopefully it'll work see you later